everybody. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Welcome back to our channel, Red Bull Coffee and Crime. Um, today's story is going to be about a um, missing child and her mother. Um, Zaylee Grace Fryer is the baby that went missing and her mother, um, Shauna Marie Fryer. So, Zaylee disappeared with her mother, Shauna Murray Fryer, from Millersville, Tennessee, on May 1st, 2011. Shauna's husband, Michael Fryer, stated he left their home on C. Smith Street at 9 p.m. to go to the store. When he returned, Shauna and Zaylee were both gone. Although Shauna's Honda Accord, wallet, and cell phone were left behind, and so was Zaylee's diaper bag. Shauna had dropped out of sight for days at a time, at least four prior occasions, and had always come home safely. So Michael didn't report her and Zaylee missing until May 5th. Shauna had a history of drug abuse, and authorities believe she may have gone out to look for drugs on the day of her disappearance. On May 6th, Shauna's body was pulled out of the Cumberland River near the Jefferson Street Bridge in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. It wasn't identified until May 10th, and there was no sign of Zaylee. She was 20, 28 years old at the time of her death. Authorities believe Shauna was murdered in Millersville before her body was dumped in the river. Although her body was badly decomposed, it had obvious injuries, including a through and through wound from front to back. Shauna and Michael married in 1999 and separated in 2005. They both dated other people and only two of Shauna's eight children were Michael's but they remained legally married and were still friends. Michael regularly let Shauna stay with him when she needed to. Shauna and Zaylee were living in Nashville and were homeless before they moved in with him again on April 29th, just a few days before they went missing. Shauna's loved one said she was happy at the time of her disappearance and appeared to be a responsible and loving mother to Zaylee in spite of her drug abuse history. Although he is not Zaylee's biological father, Michael stated he loved the baby and took care of her as if she was his own child. He had been at the hospital when she was born and he hoped to get legal custody of her. Both of Shauna's parents are dead and one of her children died before she went missing. All the others besides Zaylee lived with various relatives, including Michael's parents. Zaylee's father, Thurman McMurray, was in jail for assault at the time of the baby's disappearance and Shauna's death and isn't considered a suspect in the case. A photo of McMurray is posted. Um, I will show you guys when I'll add it in the video. He and Shauna had dated for about a year and he was looking forward to seeing her and Zaylee again after his release from custody in mid-May. Photos of Shauna and Michael and McMurray, um, I will also add in the video. Michael is the main suspect in Shauna's murder and Zaylee's disappearance. He had a drug problem and a history of violence, including child abuse. He provided three or four written statements about the case to police, and each of his stories were different from the others. However, he was never charged in Shauna's death or Zaylee's disappearance and is now deceased. Investigators stated that if Zaylee's body was dumped in the river, like her mother's, it's unlikely she will ever be found. However, it's possible that she is still alive and does not realize she is a missing child. Her case remains unsolved. They are still working on the case. If anybody has any information on this beautiful baby girl, please call the Millersville Police Department at 615-859-2758. Um, that is Zaylee when she was a baby. Um, she was three months old, and then on the right side is her age progression photo. Uh, to that took uh, that happened in 2016. Um, like I said, she's been missing since May 1st, 2011, from Millersville, Tennessee. She is classified as endangered missing, female, um, African American. Her date of birth is 114, 2011. She was three months. Her height and weight, uh, 2 feet, 12 pounds. Um, she was actually biracial, so African-American and Caucasian. Black hair, brown eyes, and Zaylee has a brown quarter-sized birthmark mark on her right leg. 
you guys, we see this all the time where kids show up uh, decades later. Uh, she could still be out there. You know, the drug use, the people that were around, um, could she have been sold? Uh, traffic possibly. So please keep your eye out. She could be in any state. So let's get her face out there and help um, find this precious baby. Once again, if you see her, contact Millersville Police Department, 615-859-2758. You guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and keep this baby in your prayers along with all the other children that are missing. Um, and if you see something, please say something. Do not hesitate. Nothing is too little. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.